Jimmy G Buckets, boy. Jimmy Butler. Forget what I said about James Harden, Russell Westbrook winning MVP. Jimmy G Buckets, the G stands for gets, deserves MVP. You know, Russell Westbrook's still my man for MVP, but Jimmy Butler, you're a close fourth. You're a close fourth at um MVP. But, dude, this guy single-handedly just won us the game. I mean, how much does this hurt for the Hawks? I mean, no one else was doing freaking crap. Jimmy Butler just said, you know what, y'all? Y'all are missing all these wide-open layups. Just give me the ball. Let me shoot it. A long freaking three with two two guys' hands in my nostrils. I'll still knock it down. The dude is solid. I love Jimmy, man. I love. I gotta, I gotta rep the boy. Jimmy Butler. Woo! Good win. I thought we were going to lose that. We were down. But we were... Oh, okay. I got to get to the negative part now, y'all. I'm getting all hype about this win, but we got to get to the reality of it now. The reality of it. Here's, here's what I got to say first. How many times are you going to allow a dude to get into the paint before you switch up a play defensively? Huh? Huh, Fred? When are you finally going to say, all right, Dennis Schroeder's killing us in the paint. Why don't we play some better defense? When is Fred going to learn? It's like Fred never learns. It's like, oh, he did it again. Just keep the same, keep the same, would you focus? Like, would you keep the same play? Why does this thing keep going unfocused? It, you see, it, keep, it doesn't want to show my ugly face. Come on, stay. There you go. When is Fred going to learn? That's what I want to know. And another, I don't know how many times Den Dennis was seriously like, oh, you guys are going to leave the paint wide open for me again? I already been in there 20 times, but I might as well get another two. You can never have enough. So he goes in there, gets another two. You know, and and Tim Hardaway Jr., good game. How many wide open looks did this guy get? At least, at least 10. At least 10. And the dude had a good chance of winning the game, too. You screwed it up, Tim. You screwed it up. But, I mean, and defensively, man, y'all got to... You all gotta fix something defensively. And Bobby Portis, I already talked about this boy being a bum, but wide open three and you're gonna hit it off the corner of the backboard, man. Get your butt playing elementary basketball where you belong. And, and another thing, too, is they make it seem like Jimmy Butler's gotta take the shot every time. Denzel Valentine just split the defense, split it like the Red Sea, like, like Stacey King would say, and got into the paint and had a wide open floater right there for him. You know, just wide open, just nothing but net floater he could have gotten. But no, he had to kick it back out to Butler who had two guys on him. It's like, dude, Denzel, Jimmy doesn't need to take every shot unless it's like the last shot of the game. Fred, when are you going to put Anthony Morrow in the game? You talk about we need shooting. Anthony Morrow's collecting dust on the bench telling you, Fred, every day, yo, I can get you three threes if he put me out there, but no, no. You still need to put in these stupid losers like Bobby Portis. And I know they play two totally different positions, but that, but that it doesn't matter. Put Anth get a way to put Anthony Morrow in the game. That's, that's what's making me mad. Put Anthony Morrow in the game. And this team falls in love with the three-point shot. I mean, there's been times where people have wide-open lanes to the basket and they just kick it out to Rondo for three. And I know Rondo's been playing good from beyond the arc, but come on, man, a wide-open layup or Rondo shooting a three. It's going to be interesting to see how they bound, how they come back uh, tomorrow against the Pelicans. You know what I mean? If they play like they did today, just 48 minutes, 48 minutes, man, instead of playing freaking 20 minutes, play 48 that's what's gonna what, what's gonna come down to, if, especially like a team um, with two solid front court guys like Cousins and Davis. We're gonna get lit up in the post tomorrow, man. Robin Lopez is gonna he's got a lot of work to do tomorrow. But anyway, good win for us. I'll take a W even if it's garbage or not. But Jimmy J Jimmy G buckets gets buckets, boy. That's all I gotta say.